years since the 9-11 terror attacks and tonight we have team coverage of the tributes here at home and around the country to the thousands of lives lost that day and in the wars in that years that follows. WGN's Mike Lowe begins our coverage. He joins us live from Bensonville tonight where a school held a special ceremony to ensure a community and its kids know about that momentous day. Mike. Ray and Micah, good evening to both of you. We are at Fenton High School on this beautiful night for football where the home team is taking on East Aurora. But of course tonight, the game was secondary. Competition taking a back seat to country. And the fourth plane crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. High school football stadiums around the country are some of the last places people come together in the spirit of competition and community. Yeah, to come out and be together, it's amazing. On the sidelines, there is a sense of youth and innocence. At Fenton High School tonight, the teenagers in uniform saluted the men and women in uniform. A tribute to the first responders and members of the armed forces who sacrificed on 9-11. It was a rough, hot day, and there was a lot of pain and suffering. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Yantis was serving in the Pentagon when it came under attack on September 11, 2001. There were a lot of people putting themselves at risk and running towards danger to help those that needed help. Parents in the crowd say the lessons of 9-11 are just as important 20 years later. It's emotional, and my son that's 15, he knows nothing about, you know, everything that went on, but we talk about it. Exactly what's seen in stadiums like this across the country every Friday night. In community, there is unity. That's why we do stuff, stuff like this, so that they won't forget, so that they'll know what happened, you know, and how these first responders gave their lives, literally you know, for them and us. And in the video there, you saw former Chicago Bears Wendell Davis and Emery Moorhead. The Bears were on hand to present a $5,000 check to area fire departments. Reporting live tonight in Bensonville, Mike Lowe, WGN News.